Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth episode where we will be talking about another menu option which is called format and going through it. So it's right here on the top where you can see different themes that you can apply. That's the first option. So you can apply a different theme that you want or you can have a customized theme that you can download from the internet. Uh, you can go ahead and use that if you want to do a very nice presentation to your boss. Now the next option that you see is a number option. So what I'll do is I'll just select a number. So let's just write a number here. So let's say 56,345. And oh, let's not put the comma there. So we have 56,345. And then what I'll do is I'll go to format option, click on number. And you see these different format options that there exist. I can also see the similar option over here, which is one, one, two, three written over here. You have an automatic format, so I'll select the cell. Now this, if we do an automatic format, it takes you to an automatic, no commas, nothing, just an automatic format. You can change this to plain text as well. Now you would see that the numbers have moved from the right to the bottom. So this is a differentiation, whether it's a text or a number. So numbers, everything is on the right if you place them. But if it's a plain text, it starts from the left. Now, if you have a number, so if you do a number section, it changes this to, 1000.12 so our numbers will then change to 56 comma 3045.00 i'll just go ahead and place this here so you can see them perfect now if you see the other options that there are you would see that you have percentage this will change to percentage scientific accounting you can rather add so the basic thing that we have is dollars right now financial changes this to just under brackets currency will change this to accounting minus brackets currency rounded which then remove the decimals you have the date option as well the time option date time option and duration now you would notice that i can select this and do date and it will change this to a date you see this is 4th of june 2054 or maybe 6th of april 2054 how does that work out so it has so ms excel or google sheets have a start date which is the first date that uh starts from uh starts from a date uh, which is if you if you want to know the first date or the first day of google sheets you can always go to numbers write one on on a cell go to numbers and change this to a date so this you see is 31st of december 1899 so that's where the dates start from and if I do a 56,000 addition to that, which was the number over here, it takes us to 2054. I'll bring it to automatic, which was the number that we had. The other options are date time. We'll just convert them to date time based on calculations from 31st of December 1899. You have more formats on more currencies. If you want to put, if because dollar was the only currency here, you want to put maybe a pound, you can just go to more currencies and just change it to a GBP, which should be somewhere here. I can see Gibraltar pounds. I'll just go with this one. There you go. You have 56,345 pounds. Now, if you go to format and number again, or where we're going from one to three, we'll just go here and see what are the different formats that there are. You can also see that we have more date and time formats. So you have you have the precision or you have the way to select what uh, how the date can be seen. So you have hour, minute, date separated by columns and then AM and PM. You also have different versions here. You can create your own or choose one of them from here. This is very handy when you want to show a certain kind of date time format now if i go to formats again the last option is custom number format so you can see there are different different formats so you see that this is the hash code of a format which would look like one comma two three five and so on you have multiple formats to choose from going forward to the format section we have called something called as bold italics uh, underline and strike through you can go ahead and select them and you also have these options right here for direct uh, access so you can just click on bold i bolded that italics strike through or you can change the color of it i go to format again and you see font size so you can increase the font size of it to 24 and that's how it becomes 
you can also see the font sign option here on the menu so this is a direct access for it and you can also change the format or the font uh, style you do have that option over here as well uh, align whether you want to align this to the left center or right of the cell this is the horizontal alignment you can find that option over here which is horizontal align and you have the vertical alignment top middle and bottom you can find that option over here text wrapping is overflowing wrap or clip so overflowing would it so if you have content piece which is overflowing the size of the cell for example i write this now this is the overflowing option which is the default option you can go ahead and change this to wrap which will try to fit adjust the height of the row to fit everything within that row or you can go ahead and do uh, which is the last option called clip so you can the height of the row is not adjusted but you see you cannot see the entire cell content so you can choose any one of the options as per your uh, interest and you also see this option over here so this is the shortcut for the option the next option is called text rotation the shortcut of that is again here so i'll just use the shortcut you can just go here and you can choose how you want your text to be written so if i want to be written as rotate down i'll just do this you can see it can be rotated down i'll do an undo on this go ahead and choose the next option which is conditional formatting so conditional formatting is essentially if you want a certain series of cell to be looking uh, for a different color or a different format based on a certain formula you can do that for example i'll just choose this before i do that i'll just remove the formats from this particular cell i'll select this entire thing and i'll go ahead on format click on conditional formatting and see it opens up this thing for me so either i can do a color scale where i can do I can use these numbers over here and do it from top to bottom. So something like maybe this, where the smaller numbers become red and the gradient increases till right uh, till uh, green. You can also choose the minimum value to be a certain color, the mid value or the percentile, 50th percentile to be a certain color and the max value to be a certain color. You can make the movement adjustment based on the distribution of uh, the channel. So you can do like 20% is becomes becomes white and I, I want more greens in my data. You can choose that and uh, you also have the option to select multiple things, uh, multiple percentiles here. You can select like if I want more reds in my data, I can do an 80 percentile. And if you see there are more reds than greens. So that's the option on the color scale. On single color, you can apply a formula here whether it is not empty text contains text does not contains for example i can do text contains um let's say a z if it contains a z that would become green so you see all my z's have become green and i can do a done so that shows uh, the first rule and then if you go here i'll have to select this again and if i just cross this and restart it from conditional formatting you'll see my first option is being visible here i can add another rule saying that if my text is ends with uh, a d then make it a yellow and you'll see another option i can add another rule saying that on the number piece if my number is greater than a 5.6 then you make it a blue ah that's too bright uh let's just make it this yellow and you see this this is again added on the sheet so you can add multiple condition formatting based on how you want to use it i'll undo all of these formatting or i'll just let it be for the moment alternating colors is uh something that you can uh, use to alternate different colors that you have but something that is not generally used what happens here is you get alternate colors on the cells so you have something like this so let me select this particular thing and just produce alternating colors here there you go it's taking a while because it's a long thing so i'll just cancel this for the moment 
and the last thing that you have is called clear formatting or control backslash so all the formats that i had created here now i want to remove them in one go so what i'll do is i'll just use my control and the backslash and you'll see that everything's gone it's bound down to what it was in or in original so that's it from the sixth episode and we will soon be coming and covering data tools form add-ons and help see you in the next episode